I started as an architect, but didn't feel like it allowed me the opportunity to be as creative as I wanted to be. So I decided I wanted to pursue painting. Uh, I began painting in oil, and I used it successfully in many different genres, many different subject matters. But as, a, as an artist, I'm always trying to grow, and so I, I decided gouache would be something that I wanted to try. I chose gouache because I like to paint outside. I like the fact that if the light changes with gouache, you have the ability to go back and, and readjust uh, some of your painting, where when you're painting with oil, you pretty much need to let it say you can't touch it again or it'll become too muddy. But it wasn't until I found the M. Graham paints that I really fell in love with that medium. And I do direct, bold strokes that I put down and leave down. And what I've come to realize is the honey that, that Graham uses in their gouache really allows a buttery, direct, clean approach to painting, which I really have come to appreciate. The paint stays wet longer. For a plein air painter, that's very important, is the fact that I don't have to fight the drying process as wet as fast. One thing I try to do is I try to make a seamless transition between my plein air painting and my studio painting. So I try to bring the immediacy and the energy that you find in plein air paintings into my studio work. Typically I'll do a quick sketch and then I'll just start. Like I say, I've worked out all the problems ahead of time so I know exactly what it's going to look like and it's really important that I'm able to have the paint work in my favor. When you look at M. Graham, their color chart, uh, they have come up with some absolutely beautiful colors in all of the paints that they produce and so I know with M. Graham that those paints, the color that it is will always be that color. If it's a gouache or acrylic or oil, that color will be consistent throughout all the mediums and I know when I come back to the studio and I finally put that paint on the canvas, I know exactly what I'm going to get. There's never any surprises. The other side of being a painter is you're, you put your heart out there for the public. It puts you in a very vulnerable position. You just have to have that mindset of you need to move on, pick yourself up and keep going because some of my most respected artists that I know have dealt with a lot of rejection. This is part of this profession that we've chosen. You become a painter because you have it inside of you. You have to create. 